The new Miss Niwe Aotearoa, Amber Batutawi, is thrilled to be part of this year's 37th Constitution celebrations. Amber was the runner-up in the pageant held in New Zealand, arriving with her entourage last Friday. On an invitation from Niwe Tourism to make an appearance at this year's celebrations. We spoke with Amber about her feelings about coming to Niwe. I actually feel great. I think it's a privilege being here again. Um, firstly, what we did when we first arrived was we met the family, we met all our friends, and then the next day following, we went to the Avasala show day where I had the privilege to actually make an appearance and to perform again. Me and my cousin and my sister, um, we've been here several times, so we know what to expect. But they're very helpful to me. They're great supporters, especially my uh, the two organisers, Sharon and Nancy. They were able to come as well and help me with this experience of joining you all for the 37th New England Constitution this week. I'm expecting to actually just feel of how it is here because I'm always attending the one in New Zealand and I don't know how it is here, how they run it. But I'm very excited and I'm, um, yeah, just hope it goes well. I know it will go well. I have been going right around the island, seeing um, different villages. Um, I was able to participate in our New Way New Zealand cricket team yesterday. And so I've been doing little stuff that would actually make me promote Miss New Aotearoa as well as um, just, you know, tour tourism in general. Amber says it has been an enjoyable trip and almost midway through her one-week trip to the island, there have been some highlights. The highlights for me so far is seeing my family again and my friends and also having the privilege in um, joining the Avasela Show Day, making an appearance and also a performance. It's been lovely. Miss Niwe Aotearoa will be making appearances at the Flag Raising Day tomorrow the National Show Day and other side events making use of this opportunity to express her pride in her new heritage and getting to know her people. Well, what I do in New Zealand is I try to um, promote new way as our island in New Zealand and through that I always do performances because I love our um, gullies, our lolongos, so that's what I try and do. Not only that, but I also um, join associations that um, make me bring my new way in this out, such as joining um, associations in university, you know, dance groups, etc. Um, wearing our new way in clothing, our jewellery. So yeah, I think that's one way of promoting new way in New Zealand, but through and through here as well. We also asked Amber what her expectations are during her term as Miss Niwe Aotearoa, as well as an encouragement for others to take up the challenge to enter such pageants for the experience and confidence. Well, I hope to achieve just the experience in general. Um, yeah, I think it's just the experience, the confidence, and just meeting new people overall. Well, everyone is different. Everyone has their own weaknesses and strengths, so I would definitely encourage them to give it a go. I mean, everyone, like I said, everyone is unique in their own ways, so you don't know until you find out, and yeah, just give it a go. You'd have fun, and obviously you'd gain confidence in this experience. Amber also has a message for the people of New Year this constitution. Just keep smiling. Be happy. Yeah, I, I always say keep smiling because I just love people who smile. Yeah, but overall, just enjoy this week. This week's very important for the Nguyen people. Um, we've had the constitution in New Zealand and I missed that out, unfortunately. But I'm lucky to be here to join you all for this constitution. That was the lovely Miss Niwe Aotearoa, Amber Patutawe, who will be a special guest at the constitution flag racing ceremony tomorrow as well as the national show day on Thursday. Miss Amber Batutowe and her team will depart the island on Friday. So long, there was so a long good way. turnout this morning to the New Ebaka Association canoe races. In the open oh, men's okay, category so there was not much change as Lo Noangatawa retains his title as champion. Still in second place BJ Rex and in third place young Clifford Marsh. Blue, which is, uh, 
As for the ladies' competition, first place went to Bella Fuhinu, followed by older sister Micah, and in third, Vanessa Marsh. Young Haven Sioskifu was commended for her efforts as the youngest competitor in the ladies' competition, topping her age group. For the young men, there was a good competition. Coming out on top was Yoela Matonia, second place Jordan Hacker, and third Reed Jackson. In the men's, the veterans, men's 40 plus, first place went to Langa Lavini, second Dimitri Williamu, and third to Mr. Tutuli Hacker. This morning's raft races saw fewer teams than previous years as the island's youth groups showcased their talents in the annual New Youth Council competition. However, it was the new event, the short swimming dash, that brought people to their feet, cheering on the young ones and some old foes. The first competition was the open women's category, and that was won by Spitzer, who was also the youngest competitor, Pepe Halford, second Sita Nemaya, and third Mrs. Sterling Halford Ingasia. The categories, 10 to 17 years, Old Pepe Halford came first, second Sitanemaya and third Fisiola Heko. For the 18 to 25 year olds, Fadu Masoni Holo took the title and for the 25 plus category, Mrs. Sterling Ingasia Halford. The boys 14 to 17 years old, first Tangawe Sioni Holo, second Movaka Chapman and third Arten Sioskefu. 18 to 24 year olds, first Foli Kilito, second Asora Johnson, and third Molly Tukunu. The 25 plus category was won by Tupoto Apilila, second Manoa Lito, and third Tupo Tupo. Straight after the swimming competition, the first raft race with only natural design started with Hikitawaki, who took an excellent position starting from the beginning to the end, taking the title of the 100% Nguyen raft race. Second to Alofi and third to Tuapa. Unfortunately, Hakubu did not fare well as their raft was submerged from the start. They were assisted with a tow by the official boat back to shore. The contemporary race, raft race as well was won by Hikitawaki, second to Alofi and third Mutalo. The best uniform and flag was won by Tuapa. The New Youth Council Committee would like to extend their sincere appreciation and whakawelahi to all the youth teams that competed, the supporters and especially the sponsors of the day. Salem Hall in Mutala was immersed with fabrics, fine woven creations, sewn outfits, floral arrangements and more as the Mutala women's group put their wares out for display and judging. The pre-show day event opened to women within the village from as young as five up to over 70 to show off their talent with some rewards. Women's group leader Maureen Milikitama commented that although there were not many crafts on display this year, there was lacking in quantity, was made up for with quality. Maureen says with the many responsibilities, members of the group have not congregated as much as they would have liked but it's good to see individual efforts. The group were appreciative of funds received from community affairs that enabled them to hold a tie-dyeing workshop that has seen an increase in these types of creative fabric creations. The hope is that more young women will join in next year's activities and the group want to extend an invitation to people to the show on Saturday where they can buy these craft works. And to end our news bulletin last Saturday, started off the New Kilikiki Games between the visiting Nguyen's and Tuapa Uhumotu in Liku. The start was slow for both teams, but the unfortunate numbers or lack of numbers from the visiting Nguyen's certainly put the visitors at a back foot. The visiting team batted first and Tuapa fielded. The result of the game, visitors had 21 batters scoring 103 points. Tuapa took only six batters to catch the score with a total of 117. Yesterday, the visiting women's team played the over winners of the local teams, Zone 4. The day started off with Zone 4 fielding and visitors batting. Unfortunately, we have not 
received the official results before this news bulletin went to air. But we will bring you more on this story in our future news bulletin. And that's our news bulletin, but an open invitation to everyone on the island to tomorrow's flag raising day as well as the national show day. And we hope you have a wonderful constitution celebrations. Good evening. Thank you.